Hey guys, so uh, I just got back from the theater from seeing another double feature. Uh, uh, and this double feature basically was the two new movies that came out this weekend. The, the two new movies of 2020, uh, 2020 I said 2019. Um, uh, the other two, which I still haven't got yet to see, are the critically acclaimed ones. Most people would know what I'm talking about. We'll probably see tomorrow, but... Um, the first being, uh, what the hell did I see? Oh, like a boss. Uh, seriously, I, prefer, I, I like. I went up to. The, I had that same problem when I went to the ticket counter. I almost forgot what the fuck this movie was called. Uh, I was like, what the hell am I gonna see? Like, I almost literally forgot I, what I was about to see. I was like, oh yeah, like a boss. Uh, yeah, like a boss. Uh, how the fuck did I forget about this movie? Uh, because the fuck this, you know. I haven't been able to escape this movie for like the last, I don't know how many months I've gotten this trailer, but god damn, I got this trailer almost, there was like a period, like, out of all the movies, all the out of all the trailers I've gotten over the past few months the most, this was probably one of them. Um, including like stuff like the rhythm section, oh my god, if I, 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 I They've pulled it down with that trailer, but thank God. But, man, I got that trailer a lot of times. But I also got a trailer for this a whole shitload of times. <laughs> to the point I pretty much knew every joke uh, like that was coming in this movie, because a lot of them are in this fucking trailer. Uh, but, yeah, I... It looked like your typical comedy that comes out nowadays, especially starring Tiffany Haddish, who <coughs> I'm not a big fan of. I know I'm in the minority when it comes to Tiffany Haddish. I just... I, I'm i not a fan of hers. I, I, I've tried really hard. Like I've seen her in some good stuff, but I'm like, man, she just falls under the same stereotype that just doesn't work for me, man. I call her the female Chris Tucker, the loud, annoying black woman. Uh, and that's all her, her character is in a lot of these comedies. Um, but I was like, yeah, I'll still give it a chance, whatever. It's, I had a decent cast. I like Rose Byrne. Uh, I like Selma Hayek. Uh, you know, like I said, Tiffany Haddish can be good and stuff when, you know, she tones down her character. Uh, just depends. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it's not very good. It isn't. It's, yeah, this, 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 uh, today's double feature was kind of just like a letdown. I was like, and these are, the, both movies are about the same for me, uh, as far as like how I felt about them. Like, this, just, this was just, it wasn't offensively bad. It just was a movie that I saw, and that's about it. It's a comedy that I will fucking forget about that I ever f saw. Uh, it's like I said, it's nothing offensively bad. It's just a bland, nothing comedy, and not a very good one either. Because like, man, I barely laughed at anything in this fucking movie. Maybe hit one liner here and there. And if the movie's not working for you and you're not laughing, it's not a very good comedy. <coughs> Especially since that's its sole purpose for you, for it to do is to make you laugh. And if it's not making you laugh, then it's not doing its fucking job. Um, I, this movie it falls under a lot of the same problems that a lot of comedies do nowadays and that it's just scenes that just go on forever and ever and ever and ever like because they had to have the actors improv and it, because of that you know there was nobody to give them really any direction they just keep improv and scenes just keep going and going jokes keep going and going until they're not funny anymore even ones that if they're okay or, are okay or funny they have to keep going and going and going there are scenes like where the uh, Rose Byrne and uh, <coughs> Rose Byrne and uh, Tiffany Haddish are with their employees, Jennifer Coolidge and uh, gay guy 
that yeah he, that, that's pretty much his character he's the gay guy uh the black gay guy you see in the trailer he's like this is my magical moment or what i don't know if i'm here uh yeah uh we're just trying to talk strategy of what they should do uh, with this company and it just keeps going 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 jeffrey college has to fucking say some weird ass lines that just I don't know how it has nothing to do with anything and it's not really funny and I'm like Jesus Christ fucking get on with it and it's like that's the only reason this movie like I think that the only reason they did that was because this movie needed to be a feature length a feature length I don't know if anybody knows this this movie's like an hour and 20 minutes no joke it's like an hour and 20 minutes and like clocks in at that and it's yeah, it's a really short sit. That is one positive I could say about it, but it's barely a fucking movie. <laughs> and like I, I said, I think they put these scenes, stretched out these scenes and these improv scenes so much so that they could make feature length because they didn't really have much as far as a script. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. Um, one of the things while watching this movie, I, I kept thinking while watching this, is that. I had I have no idea how Rose Byrne and Tiffany Haddish have had this company for so long. What I mean by that is that I don't know how they've made it any t- had any type of success because these two are fucking morons. They are morons. They're movie morons, especially fucking Tiffany Haddish. I'm not saying like just because she's black she's a moron. No, it's how she's written. It's like she is clinically retarded like like it comes off clinically retarded and wonder how the hell did this business last this long for even like in this at the beginning of the movie they're already in debt when they Selma Hayek comes to them and offers them offers them money for their company and you're like yeah go fucking take it is like you understand why they take it because they're so far in debt because the, <sighs> Tiffany Haddish has no fucking idea how to run a business, and r- even though Rose Burns trying to tell her some of the problems they're having, she don't fucking want to hear about it. She just kind of ignores it, wants to smoke weed, and they just smoke weed together. And I'm like, they're like best friends that you know started a business together like years ago. I'm like, God damn, these. It's like, how do they fucking run this company for so fucking long? Like, they're. <laughs> Like, in real world, the real world, they would be out of business within a few months. Uh, but, and of course, this is movie world. Um, Salma Hayek, I if there is one part, I, I did like Salma Hayek in this movie. She was over the top, like a little over the top, and she was supposed to be. And she was kind of having fun, so that was, that was kind of nice to see. I, like, you could tell she was having fun with this. There is one positive thing, I, like I said, I liked Salma Hayek. Uh, Lisa Kudrow makes a fucking cameo in this movie. That's a spoiler. I'm, I'll spoil. I don't fucking care. I don't think anybody cares if I spoil fucking. It's a, it's like a cameo, a surprise cameo at the end. And I, like that that I was like that jolted me awake for a second. I'm like Lisa Kudrow's in this movie. That's nice to see her. Like it's just like hey Lisa Kudrow, how you doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> um, <laughs> I have no idea why they had to get Lisa Kudrow because. And it could have been anybody, but it's it's cool to see her or something again, uh, for a brief time. Uh, so I guess that's a positive I could say. Uh, there's not much to talk about in this movie. There isn't. It just I didn't care for it that much. Uh, I, it was not a good comedy. Pretty much all you could say about it. I just didn't find it that funny. This um, I'm trying to. I, I know there's probably a line or here or there that I'd laughed at, but I can't think of any. They're, they were that memorable. I can't really think of any. Um, but yeah, I didn't. I don't recommend seeing it in the theater. Um, it's not very good. Uh, like I said, it, it, <laughs> I mean, if you if you like it and you think it's a great comedy or the greatest comedy you've ever seen, if you think it's the greatest comedy you've ever seen, apparently you've never seen many comedies. So, but. Uh, yeah, if you've seen a lot of comedies, I don't know what to tell you. Um, <coughs> I think you're just goddamn stupid. Um, I was just saying. Um, but yeah, uh, trailers. Uh, bad. Tra- I got a trailer for something called Bad Trip. 
It's a jackass esque movie about it has stars Eric Andre, uh, that guy from uh, the lead. Uh, what's that little Ray, little Ray Howard, or what, the guy from um, uh, Uncle Drew and Tiffany Haddish is like full prosthetic makeup to try to make and fool people to think it's not her and real to not recognize her. Um, where they're going around basically pranking people, and there's a plot where they're trying to go across country or something. Eric Andre and uh, Lil Ray Howard, or whatever the fuck his name is, going across country, and they're stealing cars and doing all these crazy pranks out in public. And it's like, you know, a hidden camera almost movie. It's, it's like jackass. But like I said, people like Eric Andre, I think there would be people that would recognize him pretty quickly. I, it's kind of hard. <coughs> it's kind of hard. Like, like, even like in the later jackass movies, it was kind of hard to have some disbelief that they were able to pull these pranks off anymore because they're pretty recognizable nowadays. It'd be pretty recognizable by that point. Uh, stuff people like Eric Andre and that other comedian, I, I think there are people that would recognize them. They're not trying to hide their faces. I'm like, I have a hard time believing that they're pulling these off and these are authentic pranks, but that's just me. But I was thinking that while I was watching the trailer, but yeah, whatever. Um, I don't know about it. It, it could go either way, probably. Um, Birds of Prey, I had a new trailer for that. Oh, this is a full length trailer. It kind of shows the plot where it's. Uh, it's all it's a Harley Quinn movie, basically. Uh, if you don't know from the trailer, <laughs> from the title, um, and uh, she meets like a group of women that are trying to fight against, fight back against Ewan McGregor is playing B Black Mask. I think that's his name. Yeah, Black Mask. I know him from the, uh, the DC comics, uh, and they team together to fight it off against them and it's gonna be a rated r comic book movie harley quinn movie i'm kind of interested how that how that works like i said i love the fact that they keep mentioning like uh her and dr j or mr j uh have broken up and like sort of pretty much writing off jared Leto completely uh thank god uh I, again, I've said this a million times, I'm not a fan of Suicide Squad. I did not like Suicide Squad one fucking bit. I hated that movie. But I did like Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. She was the only positive I could say about that movie. So, here's hoping that, like I said, DC has been on a roll uh, as a, over the last couple of years. Uh, they've put some really great movies out, so I'm holding out hope. It don't look bad. Um, it had people like Elizabeth or Mary Elizabeth Winstead and uh, Rosie Perez in it. That's fucking crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm like, here's hoping it's actually pretty good. Um, I'm hoping it is. Um, and then uh, what the fuck did I get? Oh, the Lovebirds. Uh, I literally thought this was a sequel to Stuber at first because it's Camille Nanjiani. He's on a date with a girl, and some guy uh, pulls or runs out in front of him, and they run him over. He's like a guy on a bike, and this guy stops them and says, "Hey, I'm a cop," and he basically runs over, runs over again the guy that they just hit, and they basically he kills this guy and they're witnesses and it looks like they're the people that did it and so they're on the run yada 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 it's basically Stuber meets Queen and Slim I'm not making that up uh yeah it's I was like it's a little too familiar like Camille Nanjiani just did Stuber I liked Stuber I thought it was fine uh, I did see it. it was fine um I don't know. Maybe it'll be, it, it might be all right. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's as far as trailers. I got one more review to do, and until then, I will talk to you guys.